Okay. Um, now, as some of you might have seen in the movie Fanboys, uh, they, the our heroes, uh, on their way to the Skywalker Ranch, took a detour through uh, a small town known as Riverside, Iowa, uh, which to Trek fans is well known as the birthplace of James, of Captain James Tiberius Kirk, uh, captain of the original Enterprise, a.k.a. William Shatner. Um, not the younger guy who was born in space. Um, or Chris Pine, excuse me. But, uh, I'm approaching, so, I'm approaching the real Riverside right now. And, as you'll be able to see, there actually isn't very much around. I've just hit a neighborhood, uh, more or less. I've just hit a neighborhood, more or less. And, um, yeah. So it's definitely a small, kind of, a very, very small town. Oh, here we are. This is the, the oh, Trek the Museum. Right. Including a shuttlecraft. Uh, and there's also... There's also supposed to be a plaque. Actually, I think this is it over here. No? There's supposed to be a plaque somewhere around here uh, commemorating this town as the future birthplace of Captain James T. Kirk. Uh, this being my first time here, I'm not exactly sure where it is. So, um, I'm, it's definitely something I'm going to be looking for. Okay, um, so I d there is actually a plaque that says uh, that this town is the future birthplace, but it's pretty tricky to find. It's not near the museum, and they have kind of a uh, memorial area over here. But, let me see if that's it. Like a memorial area over there, but that's actual, that's for actual veterans. Uh, like actual real war veterans. And, uh, but I asked a local, and he knew where to find the plaque that commemorates this town as Kurt's birthplace, future birthplace. So, I'm about to go find it right now. Okay, so, uh, it looks like I found it. Um, it's actually back in town. And, um, I drove right past it. This is the yellow building that he was talking about. Small yellow building. Along with, as you can see, A, uh, ah, here we are. And here's the plaque. Riverside, Iowa. Future birthplace of Captain James T. Kirk. March 2nd, or March 22nd, 2000, or excuse me, March 22nd, 2228. Tricky to find, but I found it.